going to try my best to make this the shortest video possible. One, because editing is hard and time consuming. Two, I'm not in my house. I don't even know if I have permission to like film here or whatever, but um, three, it's super hot. <laughs> I'm also gonna apologize in advance if the audio or like my speaking is too whispery it's because people are sleeping I don't want to bother their sleep so I tried filming like my ideas on this topic but there was loud music playing in the background and I don't want to get in trouble you know copyrights and stuff I'll put a little montage of snippets from that here what's up banana peels potato Potatoes. Yo, and I wish I could freeze this moment in a frame and stay like this. I'll put this day back on and keep reliving it. Truly, madly, crazy, deeply in love with you. And a potatoes! Recent obsession, Charlie Puth. Charlie Puth. Yeah, so that happened. I didn't know where that video was going, as you can tell. I didn't look good, and I was doing household chores. I just kind of wanted to turn on the camera because I was kind of bored. It ended up going into something that I've always wanted to talk about. So, I remember being young. I remember being in middle school and high school and going through things in school. Everybody goes through stuff in life in general. And I went through my share of issues and things. I remember being young and thinking ugly thoughts like maybe the world would be better if I wasn't here. I never acted upon my thoughts or my feelings to a severe extent. Um, I did struggle with my thoughts and my head, my insecurities, and I did try to, I did hurt myself a couple of times in different ways of hurting yourself, but I never went to the extent to, you know, just end it all. But there were some people in school, in middle school, in high school, freshman year, you know, um, that did act upon it and did take it to like the most severe extent, which is suicide. And it's sad to think, like, I'm 21 now, I've been out of high school for it's going on four years. Just to think, like if I would have taken my life in high school when I was going through things that I thought you know what, this is the end of the world, can't do it anymore. I wouldn't have experienced these last four years. I would have never known, I would have never existed through them. And it's really sad that people that, you know, thought that that was the only way out of their situation, they didn't know that it would get better, that it would be a whole nother issue the year after. Life is bad then it gets good and then it gets bad again and then it gets good and then it gets bad again and then it gets good it's just a repeating motion of good and bad there's no in between there's no always good there's no always bad and i know that i have cousins that are that age now when i started going through things and i wish none of you guys had to go through that i would hate for you guys to think that you're alone my idea was I don't have a car right now like I don't drive but eventually I wanted to start hanging out with you guys like me JJ and all our younger Noyola cousins just to hang out and if you guys wanted to talk about life and 
you know things that you're going through things that you've gone through that you need to get off your chest if you just want to have one-on-one -on -one time with me like we can meet up we can skype we can call each other I wanted to start like maybe like every other week or every two weeks um, whenever I have a car whenever I can drive whenever I have a license you know get together hang out um, order pizza uh, go to the park or bowling or the zoo just become a family because you know we are family and we occasionally all see each other everybody has things in life going on but I want to make time to be there for you guys because I wish someone would have done that for me. I wish someone would have picked me up from school and been like, So, how's school? How's your life? Are you okay? So yeah, kind of the aim of this video to tell all you Noyola teens, preteens, that I love you guys and I don't know what you're going through, but I want to know. I am interested in your lives. I guess we could start out Skyping. I'm gonna try to like tag each and every one of your parents in this video on Facebook. Ask your parents if you guys can get a Skype, whether it's with an account that they make for them and let you use it, or they make you your own account. I think Skype would be a good start I think we should take it from there, like try to schedule things and whatnot because vacation is coming up, hallelujah. It's gonna happen. We're gonna make this happen because it is so important. I'm not saying that I'm an expert in life. I'm 21, I've lived 21 years. I can shed some light and I've been told that I give great advice. I don't know if this idea is coming together in this video. Because honestly, I was supposed to write notes, I didn't. Um, so I kind of just turned on the camera and started talking because I thought, oh, I got this. And then the camera turned on and I was like, ooh, maybe I don't. So in conclusion, you know, we all go through different things. Not everybody goes through the same thing. But I've been there, I'm pretty sure. Anything that you guys are going through right now, I've gone through already. And I want to help you get through that because life is beautiful. Life is precious and you need to live it. I love you guys. We're family and we need to start acting like it. Because in the end, family is what gets you through anything.